Did I see you writing a message to the Inquisition? What's that about? You know, Varric and I were part of the Inquisition, right? I'm trying to get news about the South. But Charter hasn't replied to any of my messages. I'm trying not to worry about what's happening there, but... No, it's probably fine. Charter's just busy. She's always busy. Charter? Who's that? She's the Inquisition's spy master. Or she would be, if there was still an Inquisition. I suppose she just works for the Inquisitor now? I haven't heard much about the Inquisition in years. Oh, that's intentional. When the breach was open, we needed a large group to stop Southern Thetis from falling into chaos. It's changed in the years since. We're a smaller force working underground to keep an eye on things going on in the world. Why isn't she here? We could use a hand. Charter entrusted the search for Solus to Varric, to us. The world's large, and she's got many things to deal with. So how long were you with the Inquisition? Ten years? Something like that. Why? You must know the Inquisitor. Well, yeah. We worked together. I wasn't part of the Inquisitor's inner circle, though. I spent more time with the ordinary people, the ones you didn't hear about. So, tell me about these ordinary Inquisition members I haven't heard about. The Inquisition hired hundreds, and most of them weren't Magisters or Ben Hasrith or the left hand of the Divine. There were scouts and stable hands, carpenters and cooks and quartermasters, even two dedicated pastry chefs. Most of them volunteered, like me. We wanted to help in whatever small way we could. You help people. That's not small. It sure felt like it sometimes. I'd sit with Rector and Faulkner and we'd watch the important people with their important business rushing by. Rector? Faulkner? Liliana gave all her agents pseudonyms. Right. Like Charter. Well, Charter's Charter, but when the other two and I were together, we were just Lace, Wilbur, and Katya. But you did know people from the Inquisitors in a circle, didn't you? I knew them, sure. But those early days, all I wanted was to prove myself and not get in anyone's way. Some of them were more approachable than others. Most of the time, I just watched them from afar, listened to their snippets of conversation as they walked by. And the Inquisitor's advisors? What about them? I wouldn't say I was close to any of them. The spy master, Liliana, was aloof. But Commander Cullen and I were both from Ferelden, so we got along. Ugh. Ambassador Montelier is my favorite, though. She's lovely. Do you miss it? The Inquisition, I mean. It's hard to miss an organization. They're only as good as their people, don't you think? But I do miss my friends. We write each other, but it's not the same. And the Inquisition is different from what we've built here. Not better or worse, just different. It's special when you're among people working toward the same goal. Not everyone. There was Solus. What did you really think of him back then? Lonely. He always seemed lonely. It's hard not to be when you hold yourself above everyone else. He might be lonely, but I doubt he cares. He's single-minded. Nothing else matters besides his crusade. Because it's the only thing he's had. My ma used to say, a caged dog forgets there's grass outside. Anyway, I'm sure something out there is on fire, and here I am rambling about the past. I should let you go. Talk later?
I can't believe you found the end to my cereal. The poison was inside the ring. Glad it worked out. It did. Well, not for the poison drinker, but he'd murdered the neighbor's cat, so for the cats. Anyway, Brooke was right. Happily ever after. Can't keep the two of you down. And when you don't read the sequels, those endings stick. There's a sequel? Have you read it? No, but trust me. Tragedy sells in Marathas. More story? Better chance things go sideways.